everybody, it's David from CrackBerry.com here to give you a quick overview of the Sprint BlackBerry Curve 8530. It's currently available from Sprint for $49.99 after rebate with a two-year contract. This is the replacement to the Curve 8330. It has some great new features added to it and let's get started taking a look at it. Right off the bat you're going to notice that it no longer has the trackball. We now have a trackpad in place which is a great addition to it. A lot of times the trackball would get a little junked up and dirty and it was hard to maneuver around the device. Take a look over here at this side. You have your left side convenience key, your micro USB charging port, your three and a half millimeter headset jack. On top of the device you now have media controls to work with your uh, music when you're in the media player functions. You can pause, play, fast forward, or rewind. On the right side of the device we have some more built-in controls. You have your right side convenience key and you have your volume buttons there at the top. Everything as you notice on the sides is kind of uh, built into the device now where you can't necessarily get to it. It's kind of rubberized covering over it here. Bottom of the device you have the microphone. Back side you have your two uh, megapixel camera. It does not have a flash. It does have fixed focus and a five times digital zoom. Turning on to the screen here, you have a 320 by 240 LCD screen, same as on the original curve. Like I said, you can move the trackpad here, get to your various uh, applications that you need to get to. This is running BlackBerry OS 5.0, so you will have some of the new features that come along with 5.0. Pressing your menu button here expands your available applications. You got obviously your messages, your Blackberry Messenger, your contacts, calendars, browser. It does come with Sprint navigation. That's one of the nice things about Sprint. When you buy their Everything Now data package, it comes with navigation as well as Sprint TV and a few other nice things, which we'll go over in just a few minutes. Let's go into the media player here real quick and we'll look at how some of those media buttons work at the top of it. We can start with uh, some music here. I have a few things loaded on here, not a whole lot, but at least we can get a good idea how things are going to work. Go into your various songs that you have available on there. We'll click on the first one and get it loaded. You can turn up volume on the side. As it's playing here, if you decide you know, this isn't exactly something I want to listen to. You can either use your manual controls here, skip, stop, pause, whatever you want to do, or you can use those nice built-in media controls on the top. And let's choose fast forward with that one. Our speaker output is right here on the top of the device. You want to pause it, something's going on, you need to take care of it real quick, we can do that. When you're ready to resume playing, push the middle button again, and you're good to go. Okay, we're done listening to our music. We'll go and stop it, back out, and there we go. Videos, you can look at whatever miscellaneous videos you might have in there, any kind of pictures, ringtones, voice notes, video camera, and a vo voice notes recorder. Setup, you have your basic setup wizard you can go into. You can use this to delete languages that you're not using, free up some of the application memory space. One thing to note is this does come with 256 megabytes of application memory, which is fantastic if any of you have used any of the previous devices, like the Tour that has this, you'll realize that that's more than enough for all your apps that you're going to be running. Set up Wi-Fi. Here's something that's been long awaited for on many, many, many CDMA devices. This is the first Sprint device that has Wi-Fi on it. When you're ready to set it up, you go into that and it will scan your available Wi-Fi networks and let you get started. Email settings, you can add up to 10 personal email accounts. And then, of course, setting up Bluetooth. The Curve 8530 does come with Bluetooth version 2.1. It comes loaded with BlackBerry Maps on it, which this also has your built in GPS, of course, which you use with your Sprint navigation as well. So, if for some reason you're not wanting to use Sprint navigation, BlackBerry Maps does come loaded standard on this. Add your clock, set your alarms multiple different formats 
camera, your help button there, search, instant messaging. Here's one that's real big with everybody nowadays. Comes preloaded with AOL Instant Messenger, Google Talk, Yahoo Messenger, Windows Live Messenger, and ICQ. You can log into any of those and have them running in the background at any time. One of the things I really enjoy about this device is it also comes with sports and entertainment. You have your NASCAR Sprint Cup Mobile for any of you NASCAR fans out there. You can constantly get live updates of what's going on in the NASCAR world. NFL Mobile Live for you football fans, one of these great applications to have coming up here. Super Bowl Sunday approaching rapidly. This will be one of the fantastic things. You can go in here and keep up with live scores. Sprint TV I found very, very useful anytime I'm out and about and I need to, uh, say, entertain the kiddo, for example. Sprint Music Store, you can also download some new media if you need to add on there to your music applications, Pandora, another streaming music device, and then Pocket Express. BlackBerry App World, this now comes preloaded on the device. I'm sure many of you have used this before, but this is where you can download many, many different apps from BlackBerry, a lot of free ones and paid ones in there. Real good to go through and see what's all available for you. For social networking, we got things like Facebook, MySpace, and Flickr come preloaded on there. Downloads, anything you download yourself, third-party apps, you're going to go into your downloads folder. Right now I have my Slag link down there, Foursquare, Google Voice, TwitVid, and Social Scope. So anything you were to download, third-party applications, is going to go into Downloads. If you wanted to move it out of Downloads, press your menu button, move to folder. You can say move it to your home folder. Now if we jump out here, you see it moved my social scope to the home folder. Applications, some pre things that come preloaded on here are going to be your memo pad, task, your calculator, files, and then your word to go, sheets to go and slideshow to go. Those are some of your documents to go preloaded programs on there. These are the basic uh, versions of it, but they do a good job of getting you through if you need to look at some Word documents, Excel sheets, or a PowerPoint. You got voice dialing, password keeper, and saved messages. Lastly, we'll look into the games folder here. Everybody's got to have it. Brick Breaker comes loaded first on there. Next thing we got is a new one called Word Mole. This has been loaded on some of the past devices, like the BlackBerry Bold, I think, was the first one to get it. But all current devices now are getting this as another great game, Texas Hold'em King 2, Sudoku, and Klondike. You got your sounds if you need to change any of your profile sounds. You can go to different profile settings on here, such as normal, loud, medium, vibrate only, silent, phone calls only, all alerts off. Let's see, right now, as you can see, I am on the loud uh, profile. If I were to go in there and want to change something in loud, you go down to set ringtones and alerts. Let's click on phone where we are right now. Your ringtone is ringtone classic. If I wanted to change that, go up to something different, click on it. You can go down at the very end to try it. If you like what it is, you can just press your menu button, go to save, and now it's saved for the loud profile. That's what my ringtone will be like now. Hit your escape button, backs out. It's going to let you uh, make the choice if you want to save the changes you've made, discard them, or cancel them. Let's go ahead and save what we got. Move on to the next things, our managed connections. You click on that. Basically, this you can use if you want to turn any certain connection on or off, such as your mobile network, Wi-Fi, or Bluetooth. If you were to say you go on an airplane and you need to turn everything off to keep the flight attendants happy, you turn all connections off. And you'll notice up in the corner everything is eventually going to be saying off up there. You want to turn things back on, you press your trackpad again and that will restore connections. Options, you got all your different various options you need to get to. You need to take a look at your about screen, memory, MMS. Set a password for the device, look at status, change your theme, whatever you need is probably going to be on your options menu. Keyboard lock is for locking up the device if you don't want people to have access to it without a password or if you're just trying to uh, key protect it. Turn power off and of course there is the social scope that I moved out to the home screen. I think that pretty much wraps up a basic overview of the device.
any more questions, you can always go over to crackberry.com. We have lots more coverage there within the blogs and in the forums. Crackberry.com.